We gotta keep up to it. But not too close. Just close enough so I can see its camouflaging skills in action. Wanna take the wheel, Gorby? Do I? I mean, do you wanna drive? Oh, <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> hmm, the octopus must have gotten scared again and camouflaged itself. How can we get close enough to watch it without scaring it? Hmm, stop the polymery! <laughs> I'm having an engineering moment! Huh? That means she's got a great idea for something to build. Finished. <laughs> Gorby, would you please press the button? Oh! Boom! Whoa! Amazing! Our polo marine is camouflaged! Thanks, Willow! Now we can get close to the octopus without it noticing us. Along with any other cepha... cepha... Lepods! Yes! Cephalopods who might swim by. <gasps> Look, there's the octopus again. <gasps> it's uncamouflaging. It doesn't see us anymore. You're better at hide and seek than you thought, Gorby. Hey! Go! 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 <laughs> <laughs> nice work, Nash. Now we'll blend in anywhere, even in a herd of zebras. Octopuses, cuttlefish, and squid Chain sheep in color Just so they stay hidden Disappearing right before your eyes It's nature's best disguise Oh, you're so sneaky And sand. They can change the texture of their skin. There they go again. Oh, you're so sneaky, cephalopods. Masters of mystery, all because of camouflage. I bet you can see me, cephalopods. Looking like seaweed, all because of, all because of camouflage. underwater, so it goes to the surface for air. It must be able to hold its breath for a long time. Let's time it. Hello, hello, snake. Come here, snake. Oh, and it says the crate is venomous. <gasps> Nash, Nash. No touching. No, no, no. It's coming this way! 
Look out! Uh-oh! Run! Oh, I mean swim! Nash, watch out! Oh, I forgot to tell you. Crates usually avoid divers. They just aren't interested in us. I wonder why not. Well, they eat fish. And we're not fish. Let's keep an eye on it. There's plenty more to see down here. It can't fit us all in. We'll have to crouch down. Tripod, go higher. It worked. Uh-oh. It's a little tippy. I need to work on that. Maybe if I just readjust the gimbal… She could be at that all day. The robot tripod is really cool, but it sort of doesn't work. Yet. It doesn't work yet. Whoa! We've got our cameras. So let's go use them. A heliconia plant. Their flowers look like little lobster claws. Ooh, a hummingbird! Whoa! Oof! <laughs> Hummingbirds use their long, pointy beaks to get to the nectar in those long, pointy flowers. Only the right hummingbird can do that. I wonder which hummingbird is the right hummingbird. <laughs> Hummingbird? Yeah, we looked it up. It's a green hermit hummingbird. This is great, Willow. Um, what is that animal? It's a sloth. Luckily, it moves really slowly, or else I would have never gotten that picture. That's me and an anteater. They use their long snouts to suck up ants and eat them. Amazing! Amazing. That's cool! Here I am with the poison dart frog. Poison? No way! Oh, yeah, but don't worry. I didn't touch it. Its skin is where the poison is. That's what protects them from creatures who try to eat them. And this one's Nash! That's a selfie of you taking a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> and we've just started looking. That's biodiversity. Lots of different plants and animals living in one place. <gasps> Robot tripod! Ugh. You're still not working. <laughs> Yet! <laughs> nice box! For me? Aww! Thanks! <gasps> oh! Ah! Eee! Wow! What's that? It's a hermit crab, Lily. Wherever you find hermit crabs, you usually find shells around it, too. I hope so. Thanks, Chester. <laughs> nice. <gasps> More. Bye-bye. Bye, Nash. Ooh, these ones are pretty. <gasps> My shells? Wh where did they go? Mm -hmm. Huh? Nope. <laughs> Polos, have any of you seen my seashells? They're gone! Gone? No way! We'll help you search for them. Where's Nash? Ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah! <gasps> right there. Oh, 
golly. It's okay, Nash. We'll rebuild it later. We have shells to find. <gasps> Lily, I think we solved the mystery. Really? A hermit crab. Lots of hermit crabs and shells. Yes, we found them. But why did they take them? Hermit crabs don't grow their own shells. They live inside ones that other creatures leave behind. Like hand-me-down clothes? Wow! What happens when one grows too big for its shell? It leaves it behind and looks for a bigger shell until it finds one that makes it a perfect fit. Interesting! Whoa, that's neat! <laughs> it's like we did trying on different sun hats. I love collecting seashells, but these hermit crabs need them more than I do. Enjoy, little crabbies. Need any help building your sandcastle? Aw, that's nice, Lily. Definitely. Of course. <gasps> At least it has antler holes now. <laughs> Makes it a perfect fit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chester. <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody else has found a perfect fit, too. Right, Hermit Crab? <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! This is the best day ever! Dopey! Whoa! Cool! Amazing! Uh-oh. Marco! Lily! Yay. Can you get Nash's toy? I got you! <laughs> uh oh They can't hear me. My Dopey! Dopey, bye! I'll get your toy back, Nash. <laughs> think, Jester, think. How can I find something that's underwater? A dolphin would know. <gasps> and dolphins use echolocation. That's it! I just finished programming the polo pod with echo location. Perfect. Activate echo location. Is that it? No, that's a crab. And that's a jellyfish. Hmm. Where are you? Guys, what's up? Chester took the polo pod to rescue Nash's toy that went overboard. Maybe I can try asking the dolphins for help. Eee! Eee! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe the dolphins don't understand me yet. I'll keep trying. <laughs> Target spotted. <laughs> Look what I found. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Dopey, dopey, dopey. Yay. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Great work, Chester. Thanks to echolocation. And to the dolphins for the idea. Yay, dopeys. Yay. sounds to bounce their way back. That's how they find stuff and their navigation. Swimming underwater using echolocation. Echo, echolocation, echo. Echolocation, echo. Echolocation, echo. Echolocation. I get it. The color says, hey, back off. I'm poisonous. You don't want to eat me. These frogs are amazing and all. But what about the waterfall? Okay, okay, Gorby, we're going. Whoa! Hey, guys, look! There's tons of boys and dark frogs. 
Wow! 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 And they're on the move! Where do you think they're going? Well, frogs are amphibians, and they like to be around water. So, while the rainforest is a wet environment... A waterfall would be even wetter! You think they're headed to the waterfall? We can follow them and find out. Well, we couldn't be any more lost than we are already. So let's get hopping. These little frogs really stand out in the big jungle. Yes, but so do you. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> this is way or Zaz way. Which way? Which way? I don't know, Nash. Look. Poison dart frogs. Follow the frogs. Follow the frogs. Come on, polos. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Do you hear that? Is that a waterfall? The waterfall! The waterfall! Whoa. Wow! This way, Polos. Hey, look! It's another poison dart frog. What are those things? I think they're eggs. It looks like this is where poison dart frogs come to lay their eggs. They're so close to the water. The baby frogs, tadpoles? Right, tadpoles must drop off the leaves and into the water. Where they grow up to become poison dart frogs. Cool! Poison dart frogs are amazing! See, Gorby? I told you we'd find the waterfall, and all we needed to do was follow, follow the, the frogs. frogs. <sighs>